In today's lesson, you will study algebraic fractions, or as some books call them, rational expressions. More particularly, in today's lesson, you will learn to evaluate algebraic fractions for given values of the variable, and you will learn about the concept of excluded values. The concept of excluded value is very important to your future study of functions. If there's anything that you do not completely understand, be sure to stop the tape, rewind it, and listen to the explanation again, or stop the tape and get someone to help you. It's very important that you understand everything that's covered. We'll start today's lesson by examining an algebraic fraction's meaning. An algebraic fraction, or a rational expression, has a polynomial as its numerator and a polynomial as its denominator. Whereas in common fractions, you have numerators, which is the expression on top, and denominators, which is the expression on the bottom. In algebraic fractions, the numerator and the denominator are both polynomials. Let's look at an example. 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 all divided by x squared minus 5x plus 1 is an algebraic fraction. Notice that the numerator is a polynomial and the denominator is also a polynomial. Now let's evaluate the algebraic fraction 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 all divided by x squared minus 5x plus 6 for x equal to negative 2. Now the first thing you want to do is to rewrite it and in place of the x, you put in the parentheses. So it's going to be 2 times something squared minus 3 times something plus 2 divided by something squared minus 5 times something plus 6. Now we go back and replace the something by what is equal to. So in the parentheses, I'm going to put in the value of negative 2. So rather than just having the open parentheses or something, I'm going to actually put in the value of x. x is negative 2. So I'm going to put negative 2 in the parentheses. So you can see that what I have done in each case, I have replaced the x by its value of negative 2. In place of x, I have negative 2. In place of x, I have negative 2. In place of x, I have negative 2. In the place of x, I have negative 2. Now we need to do what's in the numerator first, and then we need to do what's in the denominator. Working in the numerator, doing the squaring, I would have 2 times a negative 2 squared means negative 2 times negative 2, which would be a positive 4, minus... 3 times a negative 2 plus 2. So I did my exponents in the numerator. Now I'm going to do the exponents in the denominator. A negative 2 squared is 4. Subtract or minus 5 times a negative 2 plus 6. Now I'm going to do my multiplying. Multiplying the numerator, we have 2 times 4 is 8. A negative 3 times a negative 2 would be a positive 6 plus 2 over 4. A negative 5 times a negative 2 is a positive 10, then plus the 6. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 2 is 16. 4 and 10 is 14. 14 plus 6 is 20. And now, of course, I need to reduce 16 twentieths. 4 would divide both 16 and 20, so I can divide both by 4. 
to get four fifths as the answer. Now let's go back to the same problem, but this time let's evaluate the polynomial for x is equal to 2. So we want to evaluate 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 divided by x squared minus 5x plus 6 for x equal to positive 2. Again, we are going to replace x by the 2, but what I'm going to do first is just put in the parentheses. If you'll always put the parentheses first, you'll find that you're not nearly as likely to make a signed error. Now inside the parentheses, I'm going to place the value of x, which is 2. Doing my exponents, I have 2 times 2 squared, which is 4, minus 3 times 2 plus 2 over 2 squared is 4 minus 5 times 2 plus 6. Now I'm going to do my multiplying. 2 times 4 is 8. Negative 3 times 2 is minus 6 plus 2 over 4. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10 plus 6. Or I get 8 minus 6 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4 over 4 minus 10 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So we have 4 divided by 0. Well, this is the problem. Because recall that division by zero is undefined. So we have the algebraic fraction 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 over x squared minus 5x plus 6 is undefined for x equal to 2. So what we have, we have that 2 is an excluded value. Two is an excluded value. In other words, we must exclude two from the values of x. I've written that for you so you can put it in your notes. One must exclude values of the variable which will cause division by zero. In other words, one must exclude values which will make the denominator equal to zero.